Ramona <laughs> Shelburne and Om Young Masuk reported bell. last night the Lakers have spoken to Lonzo Ball and Kyle Kuzma. I love the way that's worded. Have spoken it's to like them. parents. <laughs> about toning down their social media roasting following a rap diss track that Ball released about Kuzma earlier this week. Sources say the team spoke to both players who are close friends and they've agreed to tone down the joking insults on social media. Mm. So what is it we're talking about here? Why is it this is going on? Is it because the team just doesn't like the optics or is it because they're heading into free agency time and they don't want anything that might turn anybody off? The key word is social media. So it's not like they're just joking amongst one another and it happens in a vacuum. Two terrific young players, by the way. And I know Lonzo Ball didn't live up to the hype of Magic um, conversation and or his dad's well, not in the first projections, year. but he had a really good rookie year. And Kyle Kuzma was terrific last season. So these can be building blocks for whoever they're trying to bring in. So now when I'm trying to sell free agents to come play, I'm trying to come sell you guys. So guess what I can't sell? Silliness, sideshows. I have to sell seriousness about basketball, though these okay. are very young people. So, if this was a team that was already on the very clear track to winning and being great, this would not be an issue. I can't imagine a world in which two kids having fun on social media would be a deterrent to somebody like a Paul George or a LeBron James to come play there. At the end of the day, what are we talking about here? Just some fun jabbing? I truly believe that perhaps Somebody somewhere was actually hurt a little bit by the diss track because that seems to be what the catalyst to this whole sit down that maybe that's what did. Maybe they're like, you know what, just a little bit too far because I didn't see anything last year from Kyle Kuzma and that was some funny stuff. Like he would get him on the plane, make fun of his fashion, tell him to go back to school, like all those things. It was funny. Like I think that's, it should be fun a little bit. During right? most of the season, I was not on IG and Michelle Beater will always come in every time Kyle Kuzma had a video. She loved him as a follow. <laughs> she always would show me when they were at the restaurant, the fork was on the wrong side, <laughs> all of these type of things that he was showing. But that was all fun and games. That was cute. But once you put it on wax and you create a diss record, okay, so that's, now yeah. the circumstances change. And when you do certain things, like when you're not calling him Kyle, you're calling him Kylie. Yeah, that was Kylie. Lame. That was like that, lame. That, that, that's somebody's name. When you're talking about him not knowing his father. So these are things that y'all probably can joke about eternally, but we're trying to sell tickets. We're trying to attract free agents. We're trying to be a marquee brand that had this social media BS in the past happen to us with a guy we just took in the lottery, in D'Angelo Russell. Right. We don't want this to get like that. This is the organization where it feels like 15 minutes ago, Kobe Bryant didn't think Dwight Howard took basketball seriously enough, right? I mean, he basically, he ran that place. Uh, this stuff doesn't happen when Kobe Bryant is on the team, right? And Kobe Bryant is not having two guys mm -mm. putting diss tracks out there, whether it's right or wrong, whether it actually makes them win or not. This is the same organization where Dwight Howard didn't take basketball seriously enough. That wasn't all that long ago. Now, all of a sudden, you know, you have this kind of social media. Now, the world has changed. Exa Maybe it's fine. Exactly. I feel like this is just sort of... The, the evolution of what we all do, the social media and all that. These are these are two really young dudes. I'm, and, I, I'm, I don't see the big deal. And they were having fun. You know how it works. He was trending yeah, for his it. diss track, and he's trying to sell records. He's trying to sell a brand, right? An entire brand. So I'm mad at him. I As gotta give him some big ball said, of shoes. It's always fun until someone gets hurt. Gets hurt. Maybe I that's what that. happens. It's like slap boxing. It eventually turns into a fight.